Now, if you just joined us, we're asking 800 585 1051. Our producer, Big Mac, sent us this uh, article is saying that more women in the U.S. are skipping college for vocational school and pursuing careers as electricians, car mechanics, and truck drivers. Cite the source, because I, I, first of all, I'm all for that because I'm a big trade school proponent. I'm <laughs> big on vocational school. Mm -hmm. I think everybody should be going to vocational school because I feel like you should learn how to do something with your hands, learn how to do some skill, some type of skill that's going to always be able to make you some money. Yeah, absolutely. And that's why I, I love, shout out to uh, Lincoln Tech, who's a, a sponsor for my car show who has, they have vocational schools all across the country in, in Texas and in Maryland, D.C., the South. Um, and I love them because, like you said, it's so many different things. Those are that, because of those schools, the world doesn't stop. So, mm -hmm. like, whether it's HVAC, whether it's welding, whether it's uh, uh, automotive, whether it's healthcare, like, they train students for that. And those jobs never go away. So during COVID, those people were still making mm -hmm. money because you still needed heated electricity. You still right. needed your car. You still you still needed health care. You still needed those things. So that's why I you know I push Lincoln Tech so much as well as my HBCUs. But you know, college is not for everybody. And sometimes you need to get right to that bread. And sometimes that is with and th these are six figure jobs. Yep. Electricians, you know, listen, this, car it, mechanics, truck drivers. There's one lady. So this, Whoa, wait a minute now. What? That might have been a woman driving that goddamn Mack truck this morning. <laughs> Why? Because you think it's just women that can't drive? Yes. That might have been a woman. <laughs> <laughs> now that I think about it. Oh, here you go. I forget. Oh, it's a lady in this article. Um, At 25 years old, her net sales were, were estimated to be over a million dollars because she uh, took over her parents' truck repair center. Mm. Well. That's crazy. I have no problem with it. I have no problem with anybody using their hands, anybody getting to the bag, anybody getting to the check, especially jobs where this, you know, everything that's going on in this world right now is so flim flammy. The fact that you can have a job and that you know that your job will take you to the rest of your life, I don't have a problem with it. And you can open up your own business, you that's know right. what I'm saying? Like you get your, you know, you get your own uh, electricity certificate or whatever, then you open up your own electricity shop or your own repair shop. Like, shop I, I, plumber. I, I yeah, think absolutely. it's dope. I'm, sh I'm shocked that, you know, just more women are going towards it. I would think everybody would be going towards vocational school. There's been an 11.6 increase since 2020 in women going to vocational schools. Angelica. Good morning. Good morning. Talk to us. What's your thoughts? Uh, my thoughts, I feel that men are lazy now because they see that women go hard. Women, us women, we're go-getters, and they know that women are going to take, home, take care of home regardless if a man do it or not. I so I feel like that's more reason for a woman to go to vacation to school and get a fast certificate because she'll make more money doing electricity. I don't like these broad truck. generalizations, though. Like, you can't just Thank say all oh, men are lazy now. You change tires, Charlie? Most. Huh? I, I'm not going to say <laughs> all men. Tires? Some I mean, men no, are I lazy. AAA. I've been I would, I'm with him. I, I what got, you say, man? I got AAA. She, she, she actually hung up. How old are you? She, oh. She's not there anymore. No. Hello, who's this? This Chris. Chris, talk to us. What's your thoughts, you Chris? Chris or Crip? Chris. Chris. Crip? Chris. Chris. Oh, Chris. I thought you meant Crip. I was like, yeah, Crip. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What's up, man? What's up? Salute everybody this morning. Yes, sir. Morning. How are you? What's your thoughts? One of the things I wanted to say real quick was um, I believe that this might be the, by design some kind of way for these women to be more in, you know, taking on these manly roles. And I think it has a lot to do with why. Uh, we got so many single females and single men because the men don't want to relinquish that power to a power a female that's dominant like that that want to work in a man's field or even you know just being a dominant woman. And I believe that the world I mean I I ain't gonna say the world maybe the U.S. is making the black woman feel more masculine and she's losing her femininity. We need the Grandma and them back in the day, man, hey, mama was everything. Now, mama, you go to mama to help change the tire. You know what's so crazy? You say that. Crazy. You say that, but our grandmas, at least I'm speaking for my grandma, my grandma was doing more manly stuff back I then. literally just saying that. <laughs> the grandma's now, my what are you talking my about? Grandma, my mom, well, before all of her stuff, my mom laid tile. She taught me. I know I can spackle. Like, yes. I can do all that. I was doing stuff like going out to the the the... the the sewage tank with my grandma and helping her clear the sewage they tank, like weeds. all types of stuff, cutting they, weeds. And I yes. agree, but they didn't lose their femininity. I don't, I don't, I don't know That's why that makes a woman less feminine. I really don't. Like I'm looking at this woman named Victoria Carl. She owns her own repair shop. She took a 50 percent investment from her parents when she was 21. Took over the repair shop. 
Now she has four full-time technicians, and when she wants to, she rolls up her sleeves. I don't know how that makes her any less feminine, and I, she makes over a million dollars a year. I think that's a small businesswoman. Not exactly. That's, that's the Thank thing. You. That's that's the thing. We put in a dollar amount. I heard T.D. Jakes preach this sermon recently, and I agree. I agree that we the females are losing the femininity in what they were created to do by the creator. So does it make you? So does it make you lose your masculinity if you go in the kitchen and cook a meal? As a man, that ain't what God created you to do. Cook meals. God, <laughs> you just gonna be hungry, huh? You the mother. God, there's some amazing men that are being, chefs. I'm not talking about doing that stuff like that. That's that's the chauvinism thing. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about women. More more women today don't want kids. They were created to be multiplied. It's because, and I feel like. As a whole, that's what we are seeing now. We are seeing a lot of females that say, "Okay, I don't want, I don't want to be married. I don't want to have kids." But in the divine creator's idea, from way back in time, that none of us can dispute, we women were created to be with the man, and the man and the woman were supposed to multiply, be fruitful and multiply. Now women are becoming so strong and independent they don't need a man so they not even interested i think in we gotta i, I think we gotta stop with these broad like generalizations yeah. thank you thank you Chris. I'm tired just listening to yeah me. i think we gotta stop with these broad generalizations like i mean to me man anybody that's a i think being an entrepreneur is fly i think being an entrepreneur is sexy i think if you're a man you know what i'm saying and you, I you thought i was sexy and shut up, man. I'm just saying, I just think that it's dope when you are an entrepreneur, male or woman. I don't I have no problem with these women going to vocational school and opening up their own businesses because that's what I'm really seeing. A lot of these women have their own businesses. Yeah. That's what I'm seeing Bosses, uh, in this I, article. I don't have a problem with it. And I don't, but I don't have a problem with men being in, in the kitchen cooking either. There are a bunch of men chefs. <laughs> See, why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Damn, real? Tell me more. Oh, Would you like to cook? Are you looking like I'm that? just listening uh, to envy. Oh mm. So when he started blushing when he said that, too. <laughs> he, he, was, he don't got no problem with a man in the kitchen cooking. Eight hundred five eight three. Damn. What's wrong with him, man? Eight hundred. <laughs> you said it. He looked at you like he was hungry. <laughs> he I said he want that stir fry. He said stir fry me, baby. Shut up, man. Stir fry me, baby. It's crazy. More women in the U.S. Envy, are skipping. You got to get that on a no. t-shirt. <laughs> that is stir fry me, baby. <laughs> More women in the U.S. are skipping college for vocational school and pursuing careers as electricians, car mechanics, and truck drivers. Now, eight hundred five. 585-1051. This question is from our, one of our producers, Mac. He said, are men becoming too soft that women have to take on traditional men I'm roles? I'm for all of that except for the truck driving. Let's, let's discuss. <laughs> I want women doing all of that stuff except for truck driving. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV, Jess Hilarious, Charlamagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. Now, Jess is on maternity leave, so... Lauren's filling in, and we're asking 800-585-1051. Uh, this question came from one of our producers. Uh, more women in the U.S. are skipping college for vocational school and pursuing careers as electricians, car mechanics, and truck drivers. Are men becoming too soft that women have to take on traditional men roles is the question. Also, the world is changing. Like, there's certain things that men just don't have to do no more. Like, Lauren asked me earlier, do I change a tire? No, I call AAA. Like, everybody does but nowadays. But do you know how to change a tire if you had to? I used to. I mean, <laughs> I the concept pop. of it, yes, of course. But, like, I'm with Charlamagne. No, I because just call I've, AAA. AAA being in there less than 30 We all minutes. know we can call AAA. We all mm -hmm. know we can call Tash Rabbit to hang stuff. But I think... Tash Rabbit too, I don't hang ish. I'm I love not putting nothing together either. But I think there are a lot of men now that if I were to... If we were stuck somewhere and AAA can't get to us for some hours and you I had this stuff and you had to figure it out, they can't do it. They can't change the tire. Well, first of all, while y'all on them back roads in Delaware, we can't nobody get to you for a few hours. <laughs> for hours. Okay. Jesus. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. You need a man. You need a trade. <laughs> yeah, you need a trade. You need I a man. I went to vocational school. <laughs> you did? Yeah. What'd you get your trade in? Legal administrative assistant. What that mean? I'll sue your ass. Oh, well, that don't sound it's like, like no, no. It's oh. like the it's like the people that go through like the paperwork and the contracts and stuff for oh. an attorney. I know you had to go to trade school for that. You do you technical trade you need. Dope. Hello, who's this? Hello. He over there trying to change. The name. What's your name? The NBA shop. What's your name, bro? Can you hear me? No, your phone going in and out. No, your phone is bad. Nope. 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 That sound like rap. the back row service. Definitely in Delaware. Yeah. Hello, who's this? <laughs> this is Lisa calling from VA. How are y'all? Hey, Lisa from the 757. What part of Virginia? I'm calling from Newport News, Virginia. Hey, you going to uh, the Cousins Festival? Pusha T's Cousins Festival? No, I'm not. Why not? <laughs> 
I'm too old for that. No, you're not. Erica, but Erica Badu is performing. Jermaine Dupri DJ, and I'm DJ. And it's gonna be it's gonna be nice. R and B celebration. Oh. Erica Badu, okay. Yeah, yeah, I love Erica Badu. So bring your ass on. Have a good time with us. <laughs> I know that's right. So for the question of the day, I'm just saying, women trying to make that money. It's not about men being, men being soft. It's about making that bag. And there's just a lot of fields, a lot of opportunities out here for women that weren't out here before. So we want to make our own money. Going back to the question of the day that you all spoke about, um, mm -hmm. young women raising your children about being independent, that all wraps up together. We want to make our own money. We don't want to be able to ask anybody for anything. Okay. I agree with that. I don't have a problem with it whatsoever. I, I, I don't even know why we in here even acting like it's a problem for these girls to be going out here making more money. I think everybody should be going to vocational school. Hello, who's this? This is Indy. How you doing? Hey, good morning. What's your thoughts? Good morning. So um, on this question for today, I have a um, line service, and I don't think the guys are just soft, but they are very lazy. They have no motivation. Um, they want to live off women. But my son, they're seven and two, and that's my help. But other than that, I'm a one man show. Wow. Wow. So you wait, one so, man show isn't you get out and do the lawn work? Yeah. You get out and do the what? I got the lawn work in my truck. The lawn, I have a lawn service. Okay. It's called CT Lawn Service. I'm me by myself. The lawn work is in the trunk, and I'm out here knocking on these doors. Do you need me to cut this grass? I don't have no problem. With you. I have no problem with you doing what you're doing because if you're not if you're not gonna do it, it's gonna be some immigrants that do. Right. That's just the uh, yeah. matter. Yeah, you read about that. Why for five dollars. Well, I, mean, <laughs> I mean, she's right. Five dollars. She's ever five. But dollars. I look at it like Damn. this, right? Today's world is is a challenging world. Inflation's high. The cost of goods are good. So the cost of goods are so high. I don't have a problem with men and women doing doing roles just to make money and to make sure their family is good. If We're not at a place anymore where you can be like, well, I'm going to sit home and do this. No, we, we both got to go out there and make this bread because things are super duper expensive and yeah. we don't know when it's going to get better. And the brother called up here and the brother said, uh, we that, you know, he said that, you know, uh, men, God, God ordains people to do certain things, right? Mm -hmm. How do you know you might be suppressing a gift because you're not even going towards that gift because you think because society has told you this isn't what you're supposed to be doing right. you know how many amazing male cooks that are out here in these streets salute to my guy chef bj in charleston south carolina oh, he was laughing at me when i said there's amazing chefs out there in the kitchen right? no i'm just saying but you know just think about how all of these amazing male cooks that we know who if they would have listened to society telling right. them men ain't supposed to be in the kitchen cooking they wouldn't exist like like i'm looking at these women in this new york post article they these, fire right uh, amazing car repair shops mm -hmm. amazing electricity uh, electric repair shops one of these women helped build the buffalo bills stadium her name is uh brie loomis she helped build the bill stadium with her construction business if these women didn't follow their instinct and and just say f what society is talking about they wouldn't have become the great people that they are so my whole thing is man don't don't really listen to society listen to what your discernment tells you that you should be doing Right, because that's actually God. So when He said God ordains people to do certain things, no, society and the patriarchy ordains people to do certain things, not mm. God. You've been in church all day no. today. You know what I mean? Yes, yeah, I God, yes, God yeah. ordains you to do certain things, but those things aren't uh, engulfed in the patriarchy. Man, it. There you go. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Well. <laughs> We got Just With The Best coming up with Lauren LaRusso. What are we talking about? Uh, yes, we do. We are going to get into the um, the astronauts. The, the astronauts that are stuck in space. Y'all heard about them? I yes. Did. Yeah, they're going to be there for a few months. So we're going to talk about how they even ended up there. All right. We'll get to that next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.